Intel Extreme Memory Profile is a technology that allows you to automatically overclock the system memory to get more system performance. XMP is an extension to the standard JDEX specification that allows a memory vendor to program different settings onto the memory sticks. The settings include the memory frequency, the memory timings, and the memory voltage. The Intel XMP standard uses this extension for overclocking purposes and adds a couple of features to the memory standard. Multiple SPD profiles, which allows for a number of different memory profiles that can be selected depending on the usage. Memory vendor specific SPD fields. This gives the memory module suppliers the ability to set a number of their own profiles based on the module's capabilities. Easy overclocking. This allows users to select predefined profiles rather than having to adjust all of the parameters individually in the BIOS. Advanced overclocking. This allows for more advanced users to change specific SPD parameters in the BIOS and save those profiles. Failsafe default boot. This allows you to restore to one of the default JDEX specifications after a bad configuration. There are two types of XMP certification. XMP ready means that the module was programmed with an uncertain but stable profile. XMP certifies means that the module was programmed with settings that have passed the supplier test for the CPU and motherboard. You can find a list of XMP certified products on Intel's website. If you want to know which XMP profiles your memory supports, there are several ways to do it. First, if your memory is rated above DDR4-3200, it almost definitely has an XMP profile. That's because the JDEX standard only goes up to DDR4-3200. Second, you can look it up in your BIOS and find the option to enable XMP. Most, if not all motherboards, support XMP and even allow you to check the specific configuration in the BIOS. Third, you can use CPU-Z and check the SPD tab. Here you will find the basic XMP profile settings in the timings table section. Personally, I almost always run XMP on all of my systems. That's because it's a very safe and an easy way to improve the system performance. Do note that some motherboards might, might increase the memory controller voltage to support the really high frequencies. In our case, the memory kit runs DDR4-4266 with CAS latency 19 and a memory voltage of 1.40 volt. Simply enabling it in the BIOS makes the magic happen.